Hi everyone, we're on the countdown for December now um, and starting off our Christmas wish list and I was going to film a, a Christmas themed video today um, but unfortunately Milo is a bit poorly at the moment, not sure what's wrong with him but he's off to the vets in a minute and I'll update you guys afterwards but he's been quite lethargic and not himself for a little bit now, it's been a couple of days um, so we're just going to take him to the vets and see how he is and we'll update you afterwards. I might bring Phil over for a little bit of moral support. Do you want to come too, Philly Bear? Milo, he has just got back from the vets. Um, he has a bout of gastroenteritis. Um, so he was not a happy boy at the vets and it's just over the last few days we've noticed that his tummy has been a bit funny. Um, and he's just been not moving around the house as much, a bit more lethargic and just staying in the same position all day, which for some cats is normal, but Milo's a pretty active cat around the house and playing with Teddy and whatnot. And we need to limit his food intake for the next couple of days, so no more wet food for him, just dry kibble until it clears up. Um, and yeah, we need to do small portion sizes rather than, at the moment, Milo just kind of grazes throughout the day. But we do need to monitor that he is eating his food. Milo. Um, so we bought the pet feeder out from Pet Libro. So we've got the Pet Libro granary feeder um, and I've programmed it to go off at different points throughout the day and I've also been able to set the portion control for what he needs to be able to eat. Um, and then I can obviously monitor throughout the day whether he is clearing his plate and how much he is um, digesting. But I'll just show you now. So I can do it's preset for different times but I can... Uh, do a manual override if I want to at any point. So um, I'll just hit this on that button. And then do a manual feed. So I'm going to do a five portion size, which is what a standard meal is. Mona. you'll see that each one of these that is coming out is one portion size this is one and it's just being added in we got milo still coming honey bun i have also um recorded a little um voice note on there so i say milo's dinner time um uh, whenever it does the automatic pet feed it shouts out so milo knows to come for his food and then I'll just sit and make sure that he eats that. So that's his portion. I need to just change it because it's going to go off in um, two hours for his next feed. I'm giving it to him a little early now. Um, but yeah, this I can just make sure he finishes off his bowl. And I can um, ensure by the gram exactly what I'm feeding him. Because I've already measured it out to five portion sizes. But yeah, so you can set it for different times throughout the day. Um, I think you've got up to six settings and um, for how many feeds that you can do throughout the day. I've filled this. So I actually don't know how many days this would let me show you um this would last i haven't tested that yet but i've i filled this with his pet food i reckon that would probably last me a week with milo um without having to top it up with more food and it keeps it nice and fresh in a sealed container um you're enjoying that aren't you buddy do you know, with all of it, though, he hasn't actually gone off his appetite. It's more that we just need to control as and when he's eating it. He's definitely like a fill in terms of he'll eat as much as possible. But he wouldn't stop eating unless we actually programmed and controlled his food portions. He would just be um, grazing throughout the day, which I think is what the vets told us. You should not allow to do with cats. You should always have them portion controlled and you should be taking bowls away, which isn't something I knew before. I thought that cats, because they don't overfeed like dogs, you could just leave the bowl out. But the vet said against that so we won't be doing that in the future um so yeah i think we're just going to keep this out now and i can keep an eye on his portion controls um until he's feeling a little bit better and his toilets are a little bit better um but yeah so i'm going to leave a link in the description box below for this pet feeder it's from pet libro and it's called the granary automatic pet feedler and it's got a three liter um tank in there yeah, if, if you guys are interested, please do shop in the link in our description box and make sure you use our discount code, which I'll flash up on screen, but I'll also include that in the description box. 
And lastly, I just want to say we'll keep you updated on Milo in the next few days as he gets better um, or if we need to go back to the vets. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Say bye, Milo.